Here is a sample genetic question for coat color and deafness in cats. In addition to coat color on the X chromosome of cats is the gene involved in hearing. A recessive allele for this gene results in deafness. A black female cat that is heterozygous for deafness is crossed with an orange male cat that is not deaf. What are the phenotypes of all possible offspring? So I've taken the key points of the question and put them at the top. We have a black female cat, heterozygous for deafness, is crossed with an orange male cat that is not deaf. The first step is to remember that we're dealing with the X chromosome and then to look at two different genes, one for coat color and one for deafness. So starting with coat color, black is dominant and these are the two genotypes that will give you a black cat. This is the female and this is the male. Now note, if the female is heterozygous, she will not be black, she will be a mixture of black and orange because of X-linked inactivation. Orange is recessive, and these are the genotypes that will give you an orange cat. This is the female, and this is the male. Deafness, not deaf, is dominant, and these are the genotypes that will result in a cat that is not deaf. And being deaf is recessive, these are the genotypes that will result in a cat that is deaf. Now note here in the female, you do have X-linked inactivation, so you do have a mix. Uh, however, the large D is enough to mask the smaller D. So we'll just take what we wrote and put it smaller on the side here. So now what are the genotypes of the cats in the question? This is the genotype of the female. She is black. We know that she has two big B alleles and she's heterozygous for deafness, as it states in the question. This is the genotype for the male. He is, an or he is orange, so he has a lowercase b, and he's not deaf. Next, we look at their gametes. So let's figure out the gametes for both the female and the male. For the female, these are the gametes that she would produce, and for the male, these are the gametes he would produce. Now let's pull these down into a Punnett square. So we'll put the male over here on the side and we'll put the female on top. So if we pull these all down, the Punnett square looks like this. Another thing you could do is simplify this notation. So we're just looking at the B's and D's next to each other. So this is another way to look at it that can help you answer the question. It means the same thing, but we're just narrowing, focusing in on the B's and the D's. So we know with this Punnett square, there's a quarter chance of each portion of the square happening. So then we can pull it out and look at the phenotypes to the left. So taking this first box here, a quarter of these offspring are female, calico and not deaf. Now looking at this second box here, a quarter also female in calico, also not deaf, but those will be carriers for the allele for deafness. Now looking at this third box here, those will be male, black, and not deaf. Now looking at this fourth box, those will be male, black, and deaf. And again, there's a quarter chance of each one happening. And that is your final answer to this question.